It's got a question that came in from Horace Knight. So shout out to you and your family. We got a husband and wife here making 14,000 a month net expenses are around 12K and they are saying they have a net cash flow of around $800. So anywhere probably as high as 2000, maybe as low as 800. We have over 85,000 of debt. We're currently 58 and 51. So we have wife is a nurse, husband is in IT. And one of their biggest, their biggest goals right now, they're trying to get out of debt, trying to fund an insurance policy for, for legacy purposes. And they're also intending or looking to potentially borrow from their 401k and also acquire a home equity line of credit to kickstart their process. So they're looking for guidance, right? So I believe they're in a really good position. And those of you who are also listening that make around this much, if you're doing over 10K, 15, maybe 20,000, but you're spending like 10K, 15, 20,000 a month, there's really just a, a couple of tweaks we need to make just on the foundational side. We're going to look at waste management. Where's all your money going, right? We need to know our numbers first. So where's your money going? How do we reduce waste, right? So before I even go into what can we cut or eliminate to save money, increase cash flow, it's like, hey, what could we just simply reduce in waste, right? Waste management, proper stewardship of the money that's coming in and what's flowing out, right? After that, I like to typically look at the finance charges, taxes. Maybe there's a something we can do on the tax side to reduce tax liability, keep more of the money you already make. Then on finance charges, that's where Velocity Banking could come in. It may or may not make sense for Velocity Banking, depending on where you're at for, those, for this couple here, but also those that are listening. I think acquiring a home equity line of credit doesn't hurt just to have access to capital in case we want to use it to accelerate debt or if we want to use it to increase our income. All right, so I don't know what their income goals are yet, would love to hop on a call. I feel like for this particular family here where they're, they're saying that they don't have a whole lot of extra funds to work with, um, you know, 800 a month in cash flow sounds like a lot to some people, but when you're, when you start making 14,000 a month and you're only cash flowing $800 or even less than that, you're literally just one unexpected expense away, just like someone making three, 4,000 a month, that's only cash flowing $100 or $200. It's literally the same. To, in my eyes, it literally looks the same. Someone that makes 5,000 a month and they spend 4,800 a month versus someone that makes 20,000 a month and they're spending 19,800. Literally the same, it's just higher fluctuation over here where it's like there could be a month where they spend $3,000 less if we can figure out a way to create consistency in that, it's gonna be a game changer. So for you guys, I would say starting with a consultation with me, it's 275 an hour, right? Let's just jump on a one hour consultation and let's form, build out a financial game plan. Let's map out the foundation where we need to begin it. Now, depending on your numbers, if these are false numbers or inaccurate, I would say recommend go through Finance Geek Ministry, you know, because you did mention that you really don't have a whole lot of extra funds. So I don't know what that means in terms of, hey, I'm cash flowing $800, but I also don't have a whole lot of extra funds. If you can pull the one hour consultation, I would start there. If even that's a stretch, right? If you're like, oh, I really can't afford this right now. I got all these other things going on. Go through Finance Geek Ministry if you're willing to give some of your time, effort, patience to exchange some of your social currency, I'd be willing to give you my time and we can jump on a call and go from there. So that's going to be my, my recommendation. And then those that are listening that are like, dude, paycheck to paycheck, the bills are, are stacking up, the debt stacking up, just need a game plan. And I usually am able to really map out the next three, six, upwards of nine months in that hour, sometimes up to a year. But I like to really like now, like what can I do right now 
to keep more of the money I'm already making, then give that money a purpose to create more cash flow by maybe, say, paying off debt, or maybe there's an opportunity in the two industries. We got nurse and IT consultant. Maybe there's something we can be doing in those careers to generate more income, become more of a valuable asset to the company organization we work at. So those are the things to consider. Hopefully this, value, hopefully this video was very valuable to you. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, personal finance geek of the 21st century. On this channel, we cover velocity banking concept, infinite banking, and kingdom authority, merging faith and finances together. I'm excited to serve you as a consultant, maybe a coach, maybe a counselor on the finance side of things, your personal finances. How are you stewarding the money you are already making? How can I help you keep more of the money you're already generating? And then how can we put together some kind of debt elimination plan? Could be a combination of extra payments and velocity banking or velocity banking and infinite banking or one or the other, right? Either way, we're going to land on something that makes sense for you and then propelling us into the next stage of life, which is okay. Once we've got a grip on the money, how do we now multiply this? Once I become a good steward over my finances, how can I now step into the, the, the mindset of let me multiply? How do I go from 14,000 a month to $140,000 a month? What's the possibility of that? What if we did certain things that could get us there? And even if we failed miserably and only got 25% of the way there, halfway there, you know, half of $140,000 a month or 25% of $140,000 a month, I don't think you or your wife are going to be upset at age 58, 51, you know, just process that.